Hi everyone, sorry for the delay. Um, I swear the energy shifts and the mood shifts I've been experiencing this week, and I think others are experiencing it as well, experiencing it as well have just been intense. So I've been I've been dealing with some stuff lately. That's why I haven't been on too much. But I'm gonna um, I'm getting back on track now, and I'm I'm gonna do um, my astrological videos um, mid month. So in a couple weeks, I'll, I'll within a couple weeks I'll I'll have those out towards the um, towards the fourteenth, fifteenth. I'll I'll start putting those out there for you guys. I'm feeling pretty good today, though. There seems to be, there's just a lot of energy today. Today today feels, I don't know, there's just a lot of, of movement in the astral realm, I guess. There's just a lot going on. Um, I feel like that's that's the case for a lot of you, too. I've noticed, you know, I just kind of had a little bit of a breakthrough a couple days ago, and I had at the same time, my, one of my friends had one, too. And talking to other people, that just kind of seems like it's, it's universal energy right now that we're we're sort of going through breakthroughs, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people have been having um, just these major life changes happen over the past, you know, a couple weeks especially, but over the past couple months too, you know, just having like, we were talking before about the masculines having these tower moments where, you know, they have, they, they switch jobs or they lose jobs or they, um, you know, they might, they might lose their house or they might um, just be moving to a new location or... Or leaving karmic partners just just lots of huge changes that I know have been stressful and I know there's just there's so much change um, especially the past couple of weeks too that's been going on for for so many different people like just so many just major life changes that um, I know it's kind of stressful and scary and upsetting at first but but I feel like a lot of us are are kind of on that that verge of um, I don't even know how to explain the energy like things are being cleared out finally you know what I mean like like energy isn't stagnant anymore. I feel like the past month or two energy has finally been flowing and there's just, you know, things that we're still releasing like karmic partners and, and old jobs that were dead end jobs and, um, and things just, you know, maybe old living situations. Maybe you had a, a toxic roommate, that kind of thing, just things that were no longer serving us. But I feel like we're getting into new energy where it's like, we're embracing the change more. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're realizing it, this was a good thing. We're, 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 we're leaving the past behind. Basically we're, we're leaving behind the things that no longer serve us. I feel, you know what I mean? So it's like, even though the emotions are still all over the place, even though the change is still kind of chaotic, I feel like a lot of us are, um, are just, I don't even know how to describe the energy is. It's just kind of, it's kind of like a roller coaster. Like it's been like, I feel like it's just been a roller coaster collectively the past week where it's like just depression or, or nostalgia. And then, you know, the next day it's this, this high energy, this, this wanting to get focused on the future and wanting to get on, on track with our life purposes and wanting to do this or that, or making plans. You know what I mean? Like the energy has just been kind of all over the place, but, um, but I, I feel like I, I'm, what the my main message I'm getting is just trust the process. You know, that that is part of the process that is, um, kind of like the grand finale of, of releasing this stagnant energy that we've been releasing the past couple of months, you know what I mean? Where we're, we're finally embracing this change and, um, you know, collectively we're, we're finally starting to feel good about letting go of the dead end jobs and letting go of the karmic relationships and, and letting go of, of, of this and that, you know what I mean? Like we're, we're seeing things from a higher perspective. Um, and I don't know if it's just me or, I mean, that, that energy I feel is for the collective. And I don't know if this is just me or the collective, but the past couple of days, I feel like my third eye has just blasted open and I'm receiving these downloads. So, um, again, that could be collective energy. I'm not actually sure about that one. I feel like that probably does apply to a few of you, at least just with where things are going, you know, but, but things are moving so fast, especially today, you know, I mean, again, it's been a roller coaster. It's been up and down, but, but, um, but I, I mean, I feel like the energy is, is pretty good today. I feel like, you know, things are moving, even if they're crazy, even if things are messy, they're at least finally moving. I'm just glad that we're all out of that stagnant energy and we're all getting out of that. So, so be prepared to, if you're not already in this energy, be prepared to, to get into this energy where things just flow and manifest for you. You know, we're, we're, we're right, raising our vibration to the fifth dimension. Um, and that's, that's what I feel strongly for many of us right now. There were a wave of, of twin flames that reunited the past, um, 
you know, maybe a few weeks or so. And I feel like that's coming in for more and more of you. You know, messages are coming in right now from the masculines, especially. And and so I, d I do feel like, you know, collectively we're, we're raising our vibrations and um, getting into this, this space where we can just manifest much more easily, where we can re replace... Um, I don't even know how to describe it. We're just, just the telepathic connections are, are strengthening. Our, our psychic abilities are strengthening. So anyway, not to blab too much. I'm going to pull some cards for you. I just got this new deck. It's, it's a surrender to deck. So it's it's about what you should surrender to. It's it's a nice deck. Surrender to passion. That's the one that's on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. She's got this like this like this flower, this light, this like red light coming out of her heart. Um kind of like a seductress here. She's got this mask on and it just says, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So, you know, this is like I was saying, this is a time to, to get into that, that higher vibration, to see the higher perspective, to, to reclaim your, your free spirited side, to reclaim your, your psychic gifts, to reclaim, um, you know, to, to heal and, and to reclaim, you know, parts of yourself that you've lost, that you've left behind. This is also a very potent time for soul retrieval. Um, if you're not familiar with soul retrieval, it's it's a shamanic practice. And basically, um, a shaman will take you through it. They take you through with your with your spirit animals, usually, or spirit guides. And you go back to, to, to revisit um, places of trauma, such as, you know, abusive relationships or... Or um, just just anything, any 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 place where you know you might have left a piece of your soul, and you call it back into you. Um, the Native Americans have this belief that when you experience a trauma, um, parts of your little parts of your soul basically leave to escape the trauma, which actually makes a lot of sense because you know when you experience trauma, it's very damaging on a mental level, and and you don't want that that damage to hit you on a soul level. So so parts of your soul basically escape to avoid that damage becoming um, soul level, you know what I mean? So it's just mental level damage and it doesn't reach your soul because that part of your soul escaped. But, but you know, when that happens, you have to go back and you have to call that piece in and you have to say, you know, it's safe to return to, to me. It's safe to return to my body. It's safe to, to integrate and to, to become into wholeness again. Um, the trauma is over, you know, it's, it's a safe space now. You can come back. So, so I think soul retrieval is really important for you guys right now. Um, I, again, just reclaiming your free-spirited side. Um, this is the time for movement, you know what I mean? Like, if you've been thinking about pursuing a new job, if you've been thinking about asking someone out, if you've been thinking about, um, you know, just, just making a major life change, you know, this is the time to do it. There is a lot of energy supporting that that right now. There is just a lot of um, of just flowing energy that that's going to support that. So this is a time of change, you know, it was windy the other day too. It was like, and I was just thinking about it. I'm like, okay, this is like the winds of change here. Oh, this card also popped up too. This was just, it's part of my romantic angels deck, but it was just lying here. So I thought I should probably share it. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So now is a very potent time for love and relationships too, especially divine relationships like soulmates, twin flames, uh, life partners, particularly. I feel like a lot of life partners are going to be coming in for people this year. All right. So for my viewers, for everyone watching this video, let me tune in to the people watching this video. So for anyone that's going to end up watching this video, what do you need to surrender over the next couple weeks to be, let's say to get into this fifth dimensional energy, to get in this, this energy where, um, where things just flow, where you're just happy, where things are just peaceful, things are good, things are abundant, you can manifest easily. What do you need to do to get into that energy? What do you need to do? Surrender denial and surrender procrastination for one thing. That's what I just saw. Um, you know, if you have psychic gifts, don't doubt them. Don't question yourself. Don't worry about what other people think. This is a time to embrace, to find your true self. And when you find it, embrace it, no matter what society thinks, you know, especially with psychics, with witches, with people on this kind of path, you know, people are going to think you're crazy. You just kind of have to embrace that. It's it's part of it. Um, you know, people are going to think what they want to think. Haters going to hate, basically. So 
So surrender to procrastination, to denial, surrender to anything and anyone that's holding you. I mean, anyone, surrender anything that's holding you back, whether it's a person putting you down, family members, um, other people putting you down, um, just anything that's straight restraining you, you know, your own doubts, your own self-sabotaging behaviors, um, procrastination, you know, like just worrying, like, should I do this? Can I do this? Can I send this message? Um, can I really travel? Do I have the money for this? Do I, can I do this or that? No, it, it's just, it's surrender to the, surrender pro procrastination and, um, and find a way and make these life changes and, and get into this, this flow, get into this higher energy. Okay. So what do, what do the viewers need to know? So to get into this fifth dimensional energy where things just flow and just manifest, what do the viewers need to do to get into that vibration? Okay, and I feel like these are the cards that want to be chosen. Surrender to setting limits. Surrender denial. Surrender your addictions. Oops. I'm going to choose seven. Surrender to success. Surrender to what is. Surrender frustration and surrender unhealthy relationships. Okay. Okay, so we have unhealthy relationships here and here. So this might be for someone that, you know, you might need to set better boundaries with people. And this is kind of like what I was just saying, too. What I was just channeling before I, I pulled these cards. Um... I was saying, you know, some of you have these these limitations. Some of you have these these family members, maybe like a sister. Um, I'm seeing a sister for someone here. Um, maybe just these these blocks that um, that are kind of holding you back. You know, these these chains that you really need to to break free of. Um, you know, people that are putting limitations on you, people that are that are making you doubt yourself, people that you know you can't can't tell them what your religion is or what your um, political views are or what your this or that is you know what I mean like you're you're surrendering that and you're being your true self you're 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 doing this soul retrieval you're calling yourself back in and you're, and you're you're becoming your whoever you are you know um, but reclaiming those lost parts of yourself or claiming you know if there's something about yourself that you miss that you that you had 10 20 years ago however long ago um, you know calling it back in and and reclaiming that side of yourself and really owning that side of yourself and not caring what people think, you know? Um, so this is, this is breaking free and I feel like it's, it's not surrendering. It's, it's, it's breaking free from limitations. It's breaking free from anything that stops you from being your true self, anything that stops you from your soul purpose, from your life path. It's breaking free from anything that's holding you back from the things that you want and the person you want to be. And, you know, for some of you, that might be relationships that you need to let go of that have that are stagnant, that are that are holding you back. Um, for others, it might be old jobs. You know, you, you might still be. I mean, we're collective. I mean, energy is this is a collective energy, but some people are a month ahead. Some people are a month behind. You know, it, it varies. But but, you know, the collective energy is, is letting go of the old, letting go of the stagnation. And, and you know, we've gotten into this flow the, the last couple of months where we're. You know, we're bringing in the things that are right for us. We're bringing in the, the life partners, the, the twin flames and soulmates that are that are right for us, that are going to make us happy. We're bringing in the, you know, the job that's that's going to make us happy, the the house, the the home, the the, the careers that are going to make us happy. You know what I mean? It's just it's just a messy, chaotic process. Um, and you know, I just I used to have this belief that that bad things would happen whenever I would let go and so I would just hold on tight and kind of just try to control everything and you know this past year I realized that that bad things supposedly were happening because when I let go because um because the the negative the the stagnant stagnant energy was being pushed out you know what I mean so I would let go and I would surrender and I would open myself up to to my gods and goddesses and my guides and then you know, my, my relationship would end or I would get fired from my job or something. And at first I was like, okay, fuck this. I don't want to let anything go if it's going to be like this. But then I realized, you know, like the relationships that were ending were like abusive or emotionally unavailable relationships or the jobs that were ending were, um, you know, dead end jobs where it just wasn't going anywhere. So even though it felt so upsetting and chaotic at first, I realized it was kind of like a flood just coming in and, and taking out anything that's not going to make me happy in the long run, taking out anything, just washing away anything that's, that's not, um, 
what I want. That's not resonating with my soul and with what's going to make me happy in the long run. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like, even though it feels upsetting and chaotic at first, it's a really good thing because then you end up making room for, you know, your true soulmates, your true twin flame, um, your true career path, your true, um, you know, a job where you have friends at your job, where you're going to, you know, love your job. Um, you know, a home in a better location that's that's going to resonate with, with what you want more, you know, just better relationships, better everything, you know what I mean? So so it's really, so letting go is, is actually a very good thing, um, you know, when you, when you really think about it, you know, and, and when you get into that, that energy um, of things just flowing, you know, it, it just, it gets easier. There's just, there's usually, if you've been holding on to a lot of toxic, stagnant shit, it's, it's kind of like just like a cleansing process where, you know, a lot of stuff just gets wiped out. And so it's really chaotic and messy at first for some of you, if you've been, you know, avoiding healing or you've been avoiding your true emotions or you, have you know, covered things up with positive thinking and, you know, you haven't actually dealt with, with the true dark emotions or sad emotions that you feel, or you haven't dealt with the, you know, seeing the light and the truth about a certain relationship that's that's you know no longer serving you or a job that you know you're just trying to hold on to to pay the bills but you know that you're not happy there you know what I mean so so letting go kind of forces you to 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 really heal and and look at all of that and and it wipes out the things that just aren't serving you anymore but it, it does that so that the new things can come in you know things that are things that are actually things that you want to that to, that you want to last long term you know what I mean like your soulmates your twin flames just just things that are in alignment with your soul. So so it's a really good thing. I would say, you know, with letting go though, I, I just, I mean, it's like a balance, you know what I mean? Like I don't just completely let go. Like if I want something, I still go after it. I still make it happen, but um, but I'm, I'm in tune with what I feel and I go with what I feel. I let, I let that flow. I, I trust what I feel. I, I let myself feel whatever I feel, whether it's depression or sadness or anger, I just let it come up and I, acknowledge it. I, I understand it. I, I don't try to fight it. You know what I mean? I, I don't go against myself and, and create stagnant energy. I just let things flow whatever way they're flowing. I let myself feel whatever I feel and I feel so much better just doing that. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I don't have this war inside of myself because I'm, I'm allowing this, this flow of emotions. I'm allowing myself to feel the good, the bad, whatever it is that comes up and just embrace it. You know what I mean? Like I think a lot of people don't understand that, you know, positive thinking can really create stagnant energy. If you're, if you have things you need to heal from, if you have, you know, pain or if there's something wrong in your life and you're just trying to think positive, it, it doesn't help because you're going against what you truly feel. You're going against what your, you know, your soul wants change. Your soul wants growth. Your soul wants something new. It wants something better. It wants to be acknowledged. You know what I mean? And sometimes that's a really messy um, emotional process, but you have to get in tune with that. And you got to drop the positive thinking and the the blocks and all of that and really just be honest with yourself about what you want, who you are, and what you feel. And that honesty, that raw emotion is is life-changing. It really, it does a lot. Um, so anyway, not to, again, I know I blab a lot in my videos, but I channel primarily. I mean, I use the cards. It's kind of like a, a tool, but I, I primarily channel. So I'm not just like giving advice. I am channeling for the people that are watching this. So this isn't just random advice. This is actually, you know, applying to the majority of people that are watching this video. Um, so yeah, so surrender, um, whatever is holding you back, whatever is holding you back, self-sabotaging behaviors, um, blocks, you know, you might need to do some uncrossing work, some, some clearing work, um, and set boundaries too. you know, say no to people. You know, express your needs and say no to people. Say no to anyone that's holding you back. Say no to anyone that tries to get you to limit who you are or um, or change who you are. You know what I mean? If you want something, just be honest and, and, and you know, stick to that. That's, that's what you want. That's who you are. You can't help that. And, and you need to be honest with yourself. If you ever want to get what you want, you need to start being honest with yourself about what you want. I feel like that's that's a message for someone here, too. If you've been, like kind of like pretending I feel like I get the energy of someone like kind of like pretending like they don't know what they want but deep down you do know what you want but you just aren't like you don't know how to get it or or you think it's unrealistic or you think it would upset people um and and so you need to be honest with yourself about what you really want you need to stop because you know what you want 
Again, I don't know who this is for, but I think it's for like one or two specific people. Like, if you like you like when you're alone, you think like, okay, I want this, but it's not like you sh you push it to the back of your mind, like, oh, I can't have that. That's not going to happen. It's too complicated, or it's too crazy or risky or whatever. Like, no, you need to be honest with yourself. This is what you want. You know what I mean? Like, you, you just the first step is just being honest, being like, okay, this is what I want. Like, and then think about it. Think about what the next step is. But 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 um. But take the step because if it keeps coming back into your mind and you can't just shove it out, you know, there's there's a reason for it. And and, and you're not doing yourself any good by pretending like it's not there. You know what I mean? You got to you got to acknowledge it and embrace it and, and then figure it out from there. Surrender denial. Accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. This is kind of just what I was just saying, actually. This is kind of just the same thing I was saying. You see, she's got like this, this mask on. And then actually, I didn't think about it until I just read the description down here. But, but it's exactly like what I was saying about um, positive thinking. And it's, it's, it's 111 right now um, is the number I just saw. Um, but she's playing herself. You see, she's in like this field of of what, like sunflowers or some kind of like wheat or something. And she's but she's and she seems like she's happy, but she's not. She's blinding herself. She's she's not aware of of what's around her. She's just kind of like, you know, accepting things. She's she's just kind of trying to think positive and trying to pretend like things are okay or trying to pretend like she doesn't want this dream or this person or this goal. And she's trying to to ignore what she wants because she doesn't think it's realistic that she can get it. Um, but stop, but it's, it's saying, you know, like this, this isn't doing any, any good. You need to be honest with yourself about what you want. You need to see things as they are, even if it's painful. You know, if you've been dating someone and there's red flags, you need to start being honest with yourself about red flags and stop, you know, letting them walk all over you. I feel like, I feel like I do channel, I mean, cause I, it makes sense that I would channel women that are, or have, you know, recently been in abusive relationships because, you know, I was in an abusive relationship, like. I mean, it was years and years ago. It was when I was younger. I haven't been in one for a long time, but it would make, make sense that I've, I've resonated with this energy, so I channel this energy. So I do feel that for a couple of you that, um, that you know, I, I get that in quite a few of my reads, that there's a possibility of an abusive or at least an emotionally unavailable, maybe verbally abusive relationship. Um, and, and so it's saying, you know, you, you got to be honest with yourself about the red flags. You have to be honest with yourself about... If there's someone that you want that you're dreaming about, or or a, this could be a career, this could be something that you're dreaming about that you just don't think is realistic, you don't think you can have it, but it's saying, you know, be honest with yourself, because um, this is what you want, you know what I mean? You need to accept that you want this, and in surrender, denial. See the dead-end job for what it is, a dead-end job. See the karmic, toxic relationship for what it is, a karmic, toxic relationship. See the... The family or the the friend limitations or the the issues you know see them honestly just just open your eyes and be honest with yourself see all the good and all the bad you know see um you know when you open your eyes like that you see the good too you might see you might also maybe, maybe there's some things that you've been denying that are upsetting upsetting and you don't want to embrace them but but maybe once you do you'll also see that um that you have friends that, that that are supportive that you didn't even know that you you had or you have a, a job opportunity that you kind of ignored but you um you know maybe you're recognizing it now or um or maybe a relationship maybe someone that's that's noticed you that you haven't really noticed because you've been focused on this toxic person and then you you notice that you know hey there's actually a soulmate around um that i that i could give my time and attention to maybe that maybe that could work for me you know what i mean so it, it's kind of like like that kind of energy where it's it's like Time to take off the blindfold, time to, to, to be honest, time to, um, to see everything and then, and then go from there. But, but, um, but the, the, just the blindfold has to come off now. You know what I mean? Just, you got to stop being in denial. You have to start being honest. Um, surrender addictions too. If you've been dealing with this by, if you've been dealing with this, you know, I mean, that kind of goes in hand with denial actually, if you're you know, not wanting to see the red flags in a certain person or situation, it would make sense that you might have some addiction issues like drugs or alcohol or sex or whatever that you're dealing with because you don't want to, um, you know, take this blindfold off and really be honest with yourself and make these huge major life changes that you know you need to make. Um, 
So this could be, you know, this could be an addiction to a person, to food, to, to sex, to, you know, overworking substances. Um, and it says, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives, you know? So, I mean, the first step, again, look at, she's also wearing a mask. So it's, it's saying, there's this really heavy energy in this read of, of taking off the mask, taking off the, um, the blinders and, and, um, seeing things as they are both good and bad you know what i mean like like i said for some of you it's like okay you're gonna have to admit that something's over or that something is toxic and and you're gonna have to start saying no to these toxic friends or or family members or um or lovers you know and you're gonna have to do that if you want to do this soul retrieval and reclaim these parts of yourself and um and put yourself first, you know what I mean? If you want to find yourself and really fully be yourself again, you're going to have to start standing up for yourself first and blocking out these people that are that are dragging you down or, or tying you down or trying to limit and control you, you know what I mean? you got to put these, she's got her hand up. She's got to put this this wall up between her and certain people that are that are holding her back, you know? Um, and, and then, you know, you have to deal with this, like, in an honest way. You, you can't drink this away. You can't, you can't, um, you know, you don't want to get into this self-sabotaging behavior, whatever this is. You know what I mean? You want to just take the blindfold off and really be honest and, and make the, the scary life changes that need to be made. Make the, um, you know, make make these decisions. And, and again, this is, this is the current energy. This is, um, I feel like this is going to vary for a lot of you because it's, it's like, I mean, like I was saying, you know, we, we've been pushed out of the stagnant energy the past couple of months where things are just flowing and the energy is just really strong. And this past week just kind of feels like a roller coaster where the energy is all over the place. But it's kind of like it, it's kind of like the people that are still trying to hold on to these karmic, unhealthy relationships and and these addictions and these, um, you know, the positive thinking and, and denying and and not not looking at the bigger picture and um and pretending like everything's okay and just trying to hold on to your comfort zone like you're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone is basically what this reading is saying um that i think this this is this is that reading this is what it, what it's saying you're, you're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone you know if you're if you're holding on it's going to be messier because you're really going to be pushed you know at a certain point it's it's like it's like a flood and you fight the flood to hold on to your comfort zone and the old stagnant energy and eventually that flood is going to hurt you so much more because you're 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 trying to hold on and fight it, you know what I mean? But if you get into that flow and you you let go of the things that deep down you you know deep down you know you don't want these things. You know what I mean? Like like you never want to let go of someone that like you truly love on a soul level. But I feel like this is for people that are like in a, you know, an ab a relationship where where the person's like barely texting you back or they're they've maybe hit you a couple times or they yell at you when they get mad or they they did this or that or they cheated or they did something and and on a soul level you're kind of like you know there's got to be more to this there's got to be more out there like there has to be like a soulmate or a twin flame or someone that can make me happier than this um and it's saying you know yes there is like you you just you you gotta you gotta be willing to to really um be honest with yourself and 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 tell people no and say you know I'm I'm not going to be treated like this this isn't what I want you know what I mean like I, it's not this this toxic relationship isn't going back to the way it was whatever whoever this is for again this is probably for a couple of select people but it, it's it's saying you know it's it's not going back to how it used to be this this unhealthy relationship you know if this this person changed you you're not gonna I mean it's harsh I know but but uh, um. But, you know, that, that person, whoever that is, I feel like they could be showing you their true colors. Because I see this man here and I keep looking at him and I'm like, just the look on his face. He kind of, he just kind of looks angry. I'm looking at him. He's like cutting this heart out. Like he kind of, he's like, it's someone who's just being careless with your heart. I don't know if this is family or friends or a lover. I feel like for at least a couple of you, this is like a lover who's just not matching you. You know what I mean? And, and it's like, if you let go of this person, you're going to do the healing work and you're going to make room for someone who's actually going to feel good to you on a soul level someone who's going to get you on a soul level someone who's going to want you going to put you first going to make time and effort for you you know um i mean i never let go of things that i don't want to let go of but i feel like i'm honest with myself too you know what i mean so it's it's kind of like it's that energy where it's like okay 
Like, do you really not want to let go of this? Or are you just telling yourself that because it's familiar to you and you know that if you leave this this job or this relationship or this situation, you know that you're going to have to to make all these major life changes and that are kind of scary to make. You know what I mean? But I feel like your soul wants those life changes. That's why it's right. You know what I mean? I'm not convi I'm not telling anyone to go against what they feel and what they want. I'm telling them to to go with what they feel, go with what they want, but you got to start being honest with yourself first about what you feel and what you want to really figure that out. So, so look at the red flags, look at the green flags too. Maybe there's people around you like I said that you just haven't noticed, you know, friends, lovers, just or potential lovers, you know, just just people around you that are supporting you that you might not have noticed before. Um, and it's just, it's taking the blindfold off and seeing everything as it is, good and bad. Just this is truth, illumination, clarity. Um, it, it's just, just opening yourself up to, to what is. And, you know, it's saying too, when you take these blindfolds off, like, just be like, okay, you know, this, this relationship is over. This, this job is over this. I need to make this move. I need to get out of this house. I can't just keep living like this because this is comfortable and familiar to me or because I don't want to, you know, make these huge life changes. It's, it's saying surrender your addictions to, you know, when that energy comes in, when you're, when you're really being truthful and facing your fears head on and, and facing just everything, you know, just seeing the truth of what is it's saying, don't deal with it by drinking. Don't, don't, don't bring in these, these self-sabotaging behaviors that are going to keep you in this pattern of denial. You know, you got to be honest with yourself so you can move out of this energy now and surrender to success. You know, again, let go of self-sabotaging behaviors. You're ready to experience abundance. Like this is, I feel like so many, um, so many like new age readers on YouTube and other places will tell you, you know, like positive thinking, love and light, wait for, wait for good things to happen. Be patient, be patient, be patient. And, and it's, you know what, it's, it's time for my viewers. I mean, for the people that are following me, it is not time to be patient. Cause I don't, that's not the energy I'm in. I'm, you know what I mean? Like if you're following me and you're watching my videos regularly, then I can tell you that it's not time to be patient because that's just, that that's not the energy that I feel. That's not the energy I put out either. It's it's time for success. It's time for love. It's time for money. It's time for new careers, new homes, abundance. Um, many of you have waited long enough already, and and you know when you get stuck in this this cycle of of waiting and waiting and waiting and and you know constantly thinking it's just around the corner. You just have to do this. Have to do this. That it's it's self sabotaging because you're constantly putting your dreams and your your goals and, and desires and everything else in the future. You know what I mean? You're, you're constantly telling yourself like, oh, it's coming. It's just not here yet. Um, and, and, and so you want to get into this energy where you have success and you have love and you have abundance and you have this fifth dimensional high vibrational energy um, in the present moment. You know what I mean? Like you, you want to, you want to feel like you have it in the present moment. You want to manifest in the, in, in the present moment. If you feel like it's in the future, it's always going to be in the future because you're going to keep, that's the energy you're putting out there is feeling like you have to wait, feeling like it's coming later, feeling like you have to do this and that to have a relationship, or you have to work on this and that and whatever else to, to, to make this move or to do this. And it's, it's just you clinging to your comfort zone. And, and, you know, like I said, this read is about being pushed out of your comfort zone. So so, so no self-sabotaging behaviors, no, no denial, no, no toxic, positive thinking blinders, no, um, no dealing with this with, with, you know, no, no retreating into a ball and dealing with it with old, um, toxic patterns, like, like addictions and stuff like that. None of that, you know, feel, feel as if you have this, this energy, this love, this, this money, the success, this abundance in the present moment. Um, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So again, don't self-sabotage. Don't, you know, and it's 3.33 right now. Oh. So again, you know, and we see this like, let me see this. It looks like a mirror. It's almost like a portal, like out in the woods with this light. Is that like resonating with anyone? Did you go to the woods lately and there was like, like a like birds or like animals or a river or some kind of life that just touched you that was that was spirit coming coming to you that was those were your spirit guides 
um, giving you some downloads basically. And then this is like a portal out in the woods, out in nature, you know, reconnecting with nature, reconnecting with this flow, um, getting into this energy. And this kind of, this kind of reminds me of like being in nature and like, you know, like I, I had noticed like the word, the, you know, these key words down here, new world of possibilities. So this is like, you know, just this is that flow. This is what you feel when you're in nature, that state of flow. You know what I mean? There's no, it's not positive thinking versus negative thinking. It's, it's not control and judgment and whatever else nature is just is. It's just this, this pure high vibrational energy. And when you get in tune with nature, um, with that kind of energy, it's just, it's flows. You know what I mean? Like nature isn't good or bad it's just it's just this this pure loving energy i don't even know how to describe it but but you feel it you know you feel that energy when you're out in the woods and that's the energy i'm talking about that that your guides want you to to get into right now is is um you know just abundance and just seeing how how there's just infinite possibilities that you might not have even considered you know you might be I feel like this is this is for people that are kind of stuck in like oh if i leave this relationship I either i only have this person to go to or i'll be alone or if I, if I move across country, I'll, you know, I only have this option or that option. And it's like, no, you have hundreds of options. You really do. You just don't see them. You know, you could, you could meet the love of your life tomorrow. You could, you could go, you could move to a different state. You don't have to move to the state you're thinking about moving to. You could move to a different one instead. You could um, leave the job you're at and, and go to a different job other than the one that you've been considering. You can, um, you know, if you're getting a new home, you can say no to this new home and you can find another new home. You can, you know what I mean? It's it's like saying you have possibilities. It's just, you got to open your eyes and, and look for them and see them. Um, see what's around you. See the support and love that's around you. See, get in tune with nature. You know, nature is going to feel like if you've been thinking about going hiking or you've been thinking about like going to the woods or making like you need to go on a camping trip. This is saying it's time to do that. There, there might be something that the, the trees and the forest spirits and, um, Maybe the sun too, maybe something with sunlight, but but like the, the animals, the trees, the forest spirits, um, just, just nature needs to tell you. You might get some downloads if you go out in nature. So if you've been wanting to go out in the woods, I would say go do that now. It's time for that. Surrender to what is, you know, and this is that result of, of surrendering to nature. She feels free. She feels she's re reclaimed her soul, reclaimed who she is. She feels free spirited. She's she's living her life. She's um she's you know, it's just this flow with what is instead of fighting it. Don't, don't, um, you know, don't, let go of the control issues. Let go of, of, of all of that. And it says when you can't change a situation, you need to compassionately accept it exactly as it is, which is what will bring you peace. So I do feel like this is for a couple of you that have been in abusive relationships and you've been trying to hold on. Or someone's been ignoring you and you've been trying to hold on, trying to fight, trying to make it work. And it's, it's kind of saying, you know, be honest with yourself. Like, does this really feel right on the soul, on a soul level? Like on a soul level, do you really resonate with how you're being treated? Like, do you really resonate with, with, you know, again, for some of you, it's for some of you, it's relationships, for some it's jobs or, um, or, you know, needing to, to leave a, a toxic roommate situation or a toxic, maybe like a toxic living situation, um, and it's, it's like, you know, be honest with yourself. Like, does this really, are you doing this to survive? Are you doing this because it's familiar? Like, I think most of you are, you know what I mean? So it's it's like saying, get in touch with your soul, get in touch with nature, um, with your guides, with your gods and goddesses. And, um, you know, just, just be honest with yourself about what you really want. You know, don't, don't keep trying to, to, to change someone or something that just doesn't want to be changed, you know? Surrender, oops, uh, I'm supposed to do that one first, I guess. Surrender frustration, that's that's not opening any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so that you can approach the situation more calmly. Um, let's see. Yeah, so again, we have someone else out in the field, and I kind of feel like it's the result. See how she's kind of like, she's, this one's like happy, but she's happy because she's not being honest with herself about what's around her. She's not being honest with herself about what changes need to be made in her life. Um, and so this, this kind of energy is, is like, 
like she's in the field and she's kind of opening her heart, but she's also, she's more, she's more reserved than this woman is. But I, I kind of feel like it's like you took the blinders off, you know, this is, this is towards the end of the reading. It's like you took the blinders off and you know that, 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 you know, going back and forth in your head, fighting yourself, fighting your soul, fighting, um, fighting to hold on to things that, you know, on a soul level, you don't really want, um, you know, just this frustration and, and confusion. It's just not getting you anywhere. So it's, it's saying, you know, let that go and. And, and get into alignment with, with who you really are and, and what you want. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So, you know, I kind of see this man again. I see this man, like, cutting out, like, a, like his heart. You know, he's... I mean, it could be for, like, male viewers that need to, to cut out, like, a certain someone who's using you. But I feel like it's also, like... I kind of see his face where he's kind of like a like a closed off man, you know what I mean? And it's like maybe he's the one that you need to be shutting out. But it's really good energy. Like it's not bad. It's like, you know, you're you're you have something better coming along. If you let go of things that you that you want genuinely want to let go of, like things that you genuinely would like to let go of. If you let go of those things, like they're going to they're going to be replaced by better things, you know? Like they're they're, that old karmic partner that you've been holding on to is going to be replaced by a twin flame or by, you know, a life partner that's a soulmate, you know, that kind of, that kind of energy. So it's really good. It's not something to be upset about. Like these, these life changes, I feel like either you're, you're close to having these life changes or you've just had them or, you know, this energy is, is coming in in the near future. But, um, but once you really make these changes, like you're going to be happy, you're going to be relieved, you're going to feel like a weight was lifted off of you. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're going to be really thankful that you made these huge life changes, even if they were scary and uncomfortable at first. Um, we got some pretty good information there, but is there anything, what do they need? What do the viewers need to, I'm going to check, I'm going to look into money and love really quick. So for money, for the viewers watching this, what energy, um, when it comes to finances, what energy do they need? And I'll make this one quick. I'm not going to blab too much with this one. But again, like I said, I channel, so it's not just me blabbing. It really is me channeling. <laughs> okay, for money. For money. What do you need to manifest money? Okay, make this fast. Surrender to inner peace. So this is kind of getting into a state of flow. Um, this is time for making time for meditation, making time to go out in nature. Um, just, you know, she's flying with the birds out here. So this is like kind of getting in touch with like your creativity. This is um, getting in touch with that fifth dimensional energy where, you know, that makes sense. It's, it's where things are manifesting very fast for you, you know, where money manifests quickly for you. You know, it's getting in tune with that energy not worrying about lack, not, not, you know, getting in, getting, um, not getting lost in your head and, and getting stressed out and, and, and doing, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just, it's, it's surrendering. It's, 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 it's meditation. It's, it's openness. It's, it's manifesting what you want. It's, it's, you know, taking control of, of, you know, having the life that you want, um, and letting things just flow to you, you know, getting into that state of flow where it's like, you're not, Worrying and overthinking and blocking money from coming to you. Surrender to divine timing. Um, so this is about. I mean, I hate saying be patient because it's it's not me. But for if you if you have like a new business or something like that, or you have like maybe you're waiting for a job promotion, or you know you just started a new job and you know it's going to take some time to work to to get to get you there, or you're. Um, Maybe you're in school and you've got like a year or two left before you get your degree and you can go make money, you know, and it, where you, you can go like make some real money, you know what I mean? Like five or six thousand a month, that kind of thing. Um, it, it's saying, you know, this might take time if you're if you're making an investment in a business in schooling in something that's going to pay off long term. You know, it, it's saying, you know, you, you have to put the energy and you have to put the work in it. It might take a little while to do this, but you eventually will get there. Surrender to addiction. So again, don't, don't, you know, 
um, don't lose yourself in, in self-sabotaging behaviors. Don't um, also don't overwork. So this is this is kind of a key here too. Don't overwork. You know, don't like run on empty. You know what I mean? Like don't don't let yourself stay stuck in a job that you that's not serving you. That that's not making you happy either. Um, you know what I mean? Because this this path, whatever this is, it should be it should be something like schooling, or you starting a business, or you doing something like it'll feel right for your soul. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, this isn't like a stagnant kind of energy. This isn't, this should, it's not like a, it's not like a stagnant job that you've been at for five years and you haven't gotten a promotion. No, that's not what this energy is. This is more like you just started a business or you're going to school for something you really love, but it's going to take you a couple years. Or, you know, you just got a new job, but you know, it's going to take you a while to move, to work up. But, you know, you, you get along with your coworkers and the, the job feels good. It resonates with you on a soul level. That's what that kind of energy is where it's like, okay, you're going to get there, but it's, it's not going to, it might not happen overnight, basically. Um, and don't just curl into a ball and, and, you know, try to, try to, um, well, I, I guess this is mostly overworking. Don't, don't, don't get on this better path. Don't, don't overwork yourself with, for a job that's like minimum wage where you're not happy. You know what I mean? Where it's like, if you're working at like a retail store or like, a fast food chain or something and you're like okay this isn't my soul path like this is not what i want you know what i mean don't don't give all that your energy when there's other things that need your energy where your your true life purpose needs your energy your true um you know maybe school needs your energy something else needs your energy more than than this this stagnant nine to five job so that's that's that energy too um surrender denial again we have that same card so and that's, that's, you know, being honest with yourself, if you're in a, in a dead end nine to five job, maybe time to leave that job, even if it's scary at first, time to go out and find something better, time to look around and see what your options are. Surrender low self-esteem. So you need to, to have money. You also, I mean, it helps to believe that you deserve money. You need to, you know, affirmations, tell yourself you deserve money. You deserve love, abundant success. Um, set your intentions, um, and set the intention to to identify and and release low self esteem. You know, like get to the pattern of it. Like where did where did this originate from? Did this come from other people? Did it come from something I did? Like it, it's just clearing up this energy and and being confident in in your life path and who you are. And and you know you might have blocks to abundance that you need to remove, and you need to get into this this flow of abundance where you you know you know that you deserve money. You know that you you feel that maybe you grew up in poverty and so you're not used to having money. And it's like okay, you got to get into that mindset of of, you know, you deserve money, you can have money, money can come freely, you know, people that, that grew up with, you know, money doesn't go on trees, maybe, maybe that's for a couple of you, maybe someone told you that when you're growing up, and it kind of stuck with you, it's, it's like releasing thoughts like that, you know what I mean, and just being like, you know what, money can come easily, it, it you know, it, it can flow to me, there are so many ways to make money, especially if you're an entrepreneur, there's just, there's so many different ways you may not have even thought of to make money, um, and so get into that energy, you know, get out of low self-esteem and, and be confident and just realize how many options you have out there. Surrender negative thinking, surrender insecurities, beliefs that you don't deserve this. Um, you know, and, and this is just, this is affirming what you, you know, this is, this is doing the work. This is, um, getting to the root of low self-esteem and, and getting to the root of the abundant, abundance blocks and clearing them up. And replacing them with with much better beliefs about about money and abundance and the things that you know you deserve. Surrender fear. Meow. Would you like to tell everyone meow? My cat. It's very talkative. Surrender fear. Let go of the fear, fear, fearful stories you're telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So be proud of yourself. Every move you make, even if it's not coming as fast as you'd like it to, be proud of yourself anyway. Um, surrender fear. See, this guy is like he's like in this fire and he's like charging forward. He's pushing through it. He's pushing. Um, see, he's just he's strong. He's pushing through this energy. This could that looks like Saturn behind us, and I know Saturn is doing. There's like Saturn retrograde right now or something. Is that Saturn? I don't know. I get the planets mixed up. I think that's what that is, though. Um, and so that could be relevant, too, with this energy. Um, and again, fearful story. That's kind of like what I was just saying. Like, it's 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 like, you know, these, these negative beliefs about money, these beliefs that life has to be hard, that life has to be a struggle, that money is hard to come by, especially for those of you that grew up in poverty. You know, you got to get rid of the, those patterns and that way of thinking and um, and just believe that you deserve money and start, you know, start recognizing just how many... Just, 
just go out in the world and just recognize just there's there's so many opportunities to make money everywhere you know what i mean like Okay, just really quick for love. What do the viewers need to surrender when it comes to love? Okay, I guess these cards wanted to be chosen because they just flew out. Ah. Surrender to... Not surrender to the drama. Surrender that trauma. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So... We have a will, a woof, and a, we have a woof and a, a man with a sword, and we have a woof and a, um, I think it's like, is that a bobcat? I don't know what that is. It's some wild animals, so that might be irrelevant. Um, surrender the drama. So again, surrender abusive relationships, surrender emotionally unavailable relationships, surrender people who are committed to misunderstanding you. Surrender people that are um, are holding you back and just causing drama in your life and just trying to bring you down and just trying to limit you. You know, surrender those people if you want true love. Because because if you if you have something that's not resonating with your soul, that's not true love. You know what I mean? You gotta let that go if you want something better to come in. Um, and and just this is like surrendering old patterns too. You know, if you have like a pattern of, of like being with that type of person of of being attracted to drama or attracting drama into your life, you know, attracting these people that aren't great for you. Um, it's time to, to, to really be honest and look at that pattern and, and, and fix that pattern so you can attract better people. You know what I mean? Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step in to your full power rather than playing it small. And here we have more wild animals. See, we have, we have all these wild animals right here. We have three of them. Um, Look at this. This is kind of like a divine couple. This is like a warrior couple. You see she has a spear and he has a sword. So this is almost like a past life connection too, I feel like, because he looks ancient. He looks like he's like, this could be like, I want to say like Scottish, like someone who's like Celtic or like, this is like Norse or, um, or like this like looks like a knight or something. And then she looks like, like an Amazon woman or I don't know. I don't even know, but they, 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 look, they look ancient and they looks like, like a divine couple. You know what I mean? Um, And I just, I, I, that's the energy I feel from this. It's, it's, you know, you gotta, you gotta release. First step is, is you have to, you know, release the, release the drama, release, um, whatever's holding you back and surrender to your full, after you do that, you, you surrender to your full power. You, you know, you, you, you stand tall, you, you set up firm boundaries with people. You, um, you get into this kind of lion energy where you're just, you're not playing small anymore. You're you're not putting your own needs last anymore. You're putting yourself first. You're putting your needs first. You're putting your heart, your soul, your mind, your desires first. You're 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 charging forward with what you want in life. You're um kind of reminds me of that Katy Perry song, Roar. You're gonna hear me roar. Um also that might be a message for some of you. Look up look up Katy Perry Roar. That's a pretty that's a pretty good song, actually. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not <laughs> gonna keep it real. It's a good song. <laughs> um, but this is just reclaiming your full power. This is, and that's what you need to do in love. Um, I like how she's like looking away from the drama too. She's like kind of like looking forward. She's looking at like she, again. She's putting herself first. She's she's um. She's just being unapologetically herself. You know what I mean? She's she's just. She's being honest with herself. She's reclaiming herself. She's she's owning who she is. And when you do that, you attract the right person. When you let go of of the toxic karmic relationships or you know toxic people, um. And, and you know you're honest with yourself and you you're honest with yourself about who you are what you want and you just you're just yourself you dress how you want you say what you want you just learn how to truly genuinely be yourself um that's when you really start attracting the right people to you because they're feeling that soul energy or they're feeling your soul is shining who you are is shining and that's going to attract your soulmates to you 
Um, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. So let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. That's what that says. <laughs> um, that's that's the same thing, you know. Like let let go of the let go of whatever's holding you back. Let go of you know. You're become a brand new you. Be willing to become your true self. Be willing to be uncomfortable. Be willing to step out to push yourself out of your comfort zone because it's not stepping out of your comfort zone. And in, in this in this the energy I get from this read, it's not really gently stepping out of your comfort zone for most of you. It's actually pushing yourself out because you got to force yourself to make these changes because they're not going to be easy at first. Um, but they're they're worthwhile. They really are worthwhile. And I think you've I think that my viewers have known that for a while. But it's it's time. It's time for this this change. It's time for abundance. It's time for true soul based love. Um, it's time for better beliefs about money, about the things you, you deserve. It's time to get what you deserve. Okay. Um, I guess one more card wants to come out. So let me. All right. Oh, one more. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. So that's probably a message for someone specific. Um, it's time for a relationship to shift. If it doesn't work, if, if it doesn't work to try to fix someone, each person has to be accountable for their own healing. So again, this is for if someone's just not treating you right or they're abusive or unavailable. Um, you know, you gotta I think this is confirmation if you've been reading watching this and you're like wondering if, if it's pointing to your relationship. I think this is confirmation for some of you that it that it is. And she's got this this green dress on and she's got like bow and arrow, like she's like an archer. Um if that, if that resonates with any of you, but it's it's saying, you know, surrender the idea that that this person is is that this abusive or unavailable person is just going to suddenly change one day. You know what I mean? If you've tried everything and it's, it's not working and they're still treating the same way, you, you know, you really, you, it might be in your best interest to, to move on and to find someone who actually resonates with your soul. Um, so thank you guys for watching. You can purchase, if you want to buy a reading from me, my contact info is below. You can, you can message me first too and ask me any questions you have about my readings. Um, please like, subscribe, share me out. I'm a new reader on YouTube, so the publicity helps me. Thank you guys. Bye.